them. So again, if I see athletes, a previous lower limb history might make me think this could be the reason their shoulder's not getting better because their force transfer is inefficient. But in terms of rehab and symptom modification, we have evidence that shows us if we initiate our shoulder exercise with a step, a step up, any form of weight transfer, it just makes it easier to get local recruitment of the scapula and the cuff muscles, but it also has an unloading effect on the shoulder because you reduce those compensations. So you gave that example of if I work the opposite glutes, then I reduce laps on the affected side. And we now have a couple of studies that support that. So if I do a step up or a step forward as I lift my arm up, because I'm working my glutes, it seems to reduce the compensation on the other side. But again, I think we have to be cautious about these very structure, muscle recruitment specific explanations, because I'm also getting the patient to start the movement in a different way. It's got more momentum. So I'm going to reinforce transfer in an easier way. And we have studies showing that a kind of global exercise like that just lights up more of the cortex. So again, maybe it just makes it easier for the patient to get out of those protective strategies. So lots of potential mechanisms, but I just think it makes rehab easier for patients.